Well, hello and uh, a very warm welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and really rather inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both camps have apparently been undeterred. We have a super turnout here, the atmosphere is bubbling, and despite all of the adverse conditions, the game, I'm glad to report, will be kicking off on time. This, of course, the Maracanã, the official home of the Brazilian national team, known as the Seleção in this part of the world. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. as it can be in the circumstances but you feel the rivalry well, I'm sitting here Peter thinking is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances this exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry to me it also has the same feel to it and I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be and the shots and it's a goal and some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, that goal has got the whole stadium rocking here. This is exactly the kind of atmosphere the players should feed off now. It was on the back foot. Dybala. Gabriel Jesus. Otamendi. And it's Messi. Is it in? That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Looks to thread it through. He's gone for it! Yes! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud, because they dug in deep then, and they've got their leveller. Dybala versus the keeper, and only one winner. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper, and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Coutinho. Now it's Philippe looking to shoot. To surprise the keeper, but missed the target. Look, you've got to have the perfect feel in your boots to, uh, to pull those off. Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus, Coutinho. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Messi. A real chance to break. Driving on, a real charge here. Shoots! Central goal of the season contender, if only. Renato Augusto certainly had a very good sight of goal and he would have fancied a better outcome then. Di Maria is desperately calling for it out wide. He's gone for it! Argentina! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. 
Higuain is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Argentina take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. It really wasn't very much in that, far away from being a telling final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Gabriel Jesus pushes it out wide. He's left his man. Coutinho, that is terrific skill. Gabriel Jesus. And the finish! Dispatched clinically. Brazil are back in business. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think... It was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Brazil come out of a half that has been quite extraordinary on many counts. High scoring, truly exciting. Neither side able to hold a lead. Right to half, more of the same please, score at the interval, 2-2. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Marcelo. And it's Neymar. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Oh, nice touch. Neymar, he'll have a dip! Vanega. Messi. Iguain. Casemiro gets it back. Now it's Neymar. He's got away. It's Iguain. Out wide to the right. Now it's Iguain. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Di Maria has created one goal already. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too... He's had a shot! Goal! Brazil! And the comeback is complete! Brazil are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Brazil get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Argentina showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And now they can launch a counter. Gabriel Jesus gets flagged offside. Yeah, that's a good spot and a good call. Otamendi. Benega. Dybala. Bilia. Going through. So who's he picking out? Dybala, and he's onside. Should have equalised. Well, the lead may be fragile, but the keeper was focused and strong. Argentina are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. It's the channel. And he's there to cut it out. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage.
Higuain. Now a chance to break. It's the through ball. He's left his man. Chance. Timo. Big chance. Attempt. Just the wrong outcome. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Well played, he saw that coming. 